tutorial, I want to take a moment to talk to you about logical operators. Logical operators are a function which we use in Google Sheets, which enables the computer or the spreadsheet to make a decision for us. And more often than not, we use these logical operators to differentiate between two pieces of data in a cell. And once again, it, I believe it's best displayed through an example. So let's, for example, say that the value in B1, cell B1 right here, is 5. We've just put that in as the value 5. In cell B2, we can create a test or a logical test to determine whether the answer in cell B1 is the answer we're looking for, and if it isn't, let's do something else. So what I'm going to say is, let this cell, which is B2, and I've just pressed the equals sign there, let cell B2 equal something if cell B1 isn't the value that we're looking for. So let me show you. We use the function known as the if function. And that should be pretty explanatory because it says here, uh, under the function definition, returns the returns value depending on logical expression. So to use that function, we'll open up the brackets. And it says here, you can see it's given us example. If A2, and this is just an example, if A2 equals foo, A2 is foo, else A2 is not foo. Now that may not, that's probably not a very good example, but we'll do a different one for you. So we're saying in cell B2, if the answer that's in B1, and I'm just going to click up here, equals 5. So this is a logical expression. We're saying if the answer, if if the cell B if the cell B1 equals 5, comma, we're going to return a value if it's true. So we'll say and I'm using the quotation marks there, yes. If it doesn't, as in if the value is false, we'll return no. So let's close the brackets and hit enter. So it's saying here, and you can see the formula up here, if the value that's in B1 equals 5, which we can see it does, return the value yes. If it doesn't, return the value no. So let's change this value to 4 and see what happens. It says no. It's, com it's made a logical decision. It said, using the formula we put in, if the value that's in that cell does not equal 5, we're going to say no. So we can do, we can do multiple, we, this can have multiple uses uh, in spreadsheeting broadly or even in finance. For example, if we say the share price of a company is, I don't know, $40 and we want it to say here we want to say if the share price if the share price equals $40 then instead of yes we could say it is a buy if the share price does not equal $40 it's a sell and you can see the share price equals $40 so it's a buy if it equals $39 it's a sell and you can see how it's automatically updated now we're going to go one step further, and it's really not that big of a step. All you've got to do is remember some, perhaps, primary school or elementary maths, and we can make another logical decision, but we can base it on a range of values. So let's say, and we'll return to that example we just used. This, this cell equals a share price, so let's say it's $40. This cell here equals the logical uh, expression. So we're going to say, if cell B1, which we know houses the share price up here, if cell B1 is greater than, and you can see I'm using the greater than expression there, greater than $40, it's too expensive, so we can say it's a sell. And we have to put it in the commas because we're returning what's known as a string or a piece of text. So we're saying, if B1, the value that's in B1, which is there, $40, is greater than $40, the stock is a sell. If it's less, and you can see it says false here, so it doesn't meet that logical expression there, then it's a buy because it's obviously below $40 and that might be cheap. So we'll hit that. So it's saying 
it's not greater than forty dollars. It is forty dollars. So if we say forty one dollars, that's over our buy price. It's a sell. If it's below forty dollars, it's a buy. If it's negative one thousand dollars, it's still a buy. If it's positive one thousand dollars, it's a sell. So you, oops, sorry. You can see there that if we have many logical expressions, so if we have say for example 10 if statements for 10 different stocks we'll be able to update the formula every time the share price changes so say if it goes from it goes from $39 where it's a buy and then it goes to $40.10 the next day it becomes a sell and we can use that for many things it doesn't have to be stock related or finance related you can use it for anything you can even say if the value that's in B1 does not contain the word and or flower or tree then it spit out a different answer. It could be the answer doesn't equal tree or the, the, the cell doesn't have the word tree sitting in it. You can use many different logical expressions but all you really need to know is the syntax or the way we write it and that is it just equals if and then we have some sort of expression which is right or wrong and then the, the, the answer if it's right and the answer if it's wrong. It's pretty straightforward. I encourage you to have a really good play around with this function and maybe even put a few different numbers in different cells and see what it spits out for us. Anyway, that's logical operators. Um, we'll, we'll use them more in future tutorials and go over them a bit more in depth. But uh, I encourage you to really just give these a shot and see what you can do with them. If you have any questions, be sure to post them on the boards or visit us at www.intostocks.com.au.